This is a very simplified version of a warehouse shown in FlexSim simulation software with three products being palletized and sent along the conveyor, depalletized and racked. We have a simple dashboard on the right hand side of the screen showing the utilization of the palletizer which is the yellow object near the left of the screen and each of the four forklift trucks. In the dashboard, the palletizer you can see shows red being idle and brown being collecting. Later on, you should see where it gets blocked as well. So the model's going quite nicely just now, but gradually the conveyor belt is beginning to fill up. As the conveyor belt's filling up, we can have a look at one of the trucks. The red one, if you look at the quick properties in the far right hand side, you can see that it's actually done about 400 metres in the first five minutes of the day. So let's speed the model up and you can see that it comes up very quickly. The palletizer is getting blocked, that big chunk of yellow in the palletizer dashboard. And you can also see the pie charts of the forklift utilisation. You can easily see that two of the forklifts are being used far more than the other two. So what we're going to do now is call upon the, the two forklifts that were not working so hard this time by linking them to one of the other dispatchers. The dispatcher is the thing that manages the, the resources, which will get them to go across to the racks as well as working on the pallets. So we can just let the model run for a little while to let the data build up. You can see the forklift utilisation is much more evenly spread now, with uh, idle being um, very similar in all four forklift trucks. As it builds up, it's still not tuned up enough yet, so you can see now that the, the palletizer is beginning to get blocked, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was in the last time. So we've made an improvement. Obviously there's more to be done. It's just worthwhile noting that truck number one, you can see the total travel time in the statistics and the quick properties on the right hand side, shows that it's done about 60 kilometres in the day. Flexum is spatially accurate spatially where. So what happens if we decide to move things around? Well, we can move the racks further away, which will make the forklifts have to travel further, and this is having an implication on the, the conveyor belt. Also, if you check out the palletizers on the dashboard, you can see that there is significantly more idle time, waiting time, um, than there was previously. So this was just an example of how to play about with FlexSim to see if you can make some improvements.